All right, so I've got one more of these root pods left right now while we're waiting for some other projects to take root. And I've been hearing lots of questions about coleus. And it just so happens that I've got one sitting around here. Every year when we go to the nursery, I pick up a neat little plant and this was one of them. So these things root pretty readily, but I've got the pod. Let's just air layer it and see what happens. So today is August 18th. We've got our little air layer on there, a little root pod. I'm gonna set this down in a spot where, in fact, let's just do it now, where I can keep this guy watered. So I'm gonna put some water in the bottom of this toast so this never dries out, because we don't want it trying to work too hard to keep moist and get what it needs. And we'll see how long it's gonna take that little root pod to do its action. Okay, so today is October 2nd, and it has now been a month and a half since we started that coleus air layer. So we started it a little later in the summer and you typically want to do this earlier on in the season. I wasn't sure what we were going to get, but it's, you know, a pretty soft succulent plant that roots pretty readily. So I felt pretty sure that we were going to get something to happen. You guys want to take a look? All right. So here it is, guys. Look at that. Look at that beautiful coleus. All I did was I had it sitting down in this little propagation bottom of a propagation tote and it was sitting in there so that it had a little bit of moisture constantly down for the soil here to suck up so it always had a supply of moisture and that is what it has done just bloom beautifully and grow into a nice plant despite the fact that it was just in a small little pot all summer long it really really helps to have access to constant moisture so we want to check out this little air layer and here's what we did. We just put this little root pod, the ones we got earlier on in the summer, right around that branch. I'm going to set this up on the table right now and we'll take a look at what it did. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at the top of this first. I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but we've got roots all around the inside of that thing. Hopefully this is picking it up. Doesn't matter, we're gonna dive in right now. Okay, so let's get this little snap undone here and I'm gonna gently ease this back. Look at that, I see it already. We're doing good, look at that. I don't wanna open it too fast because I don't wanna rip them roots out. Let's just gently pull this aside. There it is guys, look at that beautiful air layer with all those roots in there. Look at that. All right, let's clip this little guy back so we can take a look at them. Let's snip that right underneath the roots. Look at that cute little air layer. Isn't that just fantastic? These things root so readily, these coleus, and they're just beautiful little flowers. And there's so many different patterns of colors that you can get with them. There's oranges and greens and reds and purples and just mixes of all those different colors. And I think maybe next year I'm going to dive into getting more of these guys and making a beautiful little flower bed with them. But I just love looking at all these little roots. Those air layers work so well because they're still attached to the parent plant. And because they're still attached to the parent plant, I want to show you what I will do now with this little cutting and what you guys really should think about doing. I know it's the hardest thing possible, but we've got this plant supporting all of these flowers, all these leaves and all this growth basically, but it was attached right here 
at the main parent plant. So it was still getting supplied with lots of nutrition through that point, as well as these roots here. Well, the roots weren't really supplying much. They were just kind of growing and getting started in a moist environment. But we don't want too much stress on this little cutting. It's got to get time to establish and get those roots feeding the plant. So what I'm going to do is just snip. Let's hold this this way here. I'm going to snip this little leaf here. Probably this one here and that one right there. And just kind of knock down some of the growth on this so it doesn't have to support as big of a plant. And then, I hate to do it, but we got to take the flower off the top. So now these roots won't have so much pressure to support so much top growth. You could even cut it down a little more if you wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it just like this. I do wanna leave some leaves on there so that it's got plenty of little solar panels for the sun or for my indoor light or whatever I have it under to create photosynthesis and create energy for those roots to grow. Isn't that cool? Man, I just can't get enough of this. I just love how these little air layers root so well. So there's another quick point I want to make here with how we did this cutting. I didn't shave any bark off around the outside of this cutting. This one might have been tough to do that with because it's such soft, succulent material and there's not really the same kind of bark you would find on a different landscape plant, but it was able to continue supplying all the same level of nutrients to the top and it still was able to root just fine. And I'm finding that I kind of like not cutting that bark off, not girdling this little branch before I put the air layer on. Because I've done this with other plants too. They're still rooting and they're rooting great as you can see, but they're still able to provide all the nutrients to keep the top growth as good and healthy as it possibly can be. So that when you cut it from the main parent plant and pot it up, it's healthy. It's already starting off with a great start. So let's go get this little guy potted up, see what it looks like. So I've got a ton of old dried up potting soil here and I recycle this stuff all the time. We'll start out by putting some soil right down in the bottom there. And yeah, it's dry, but I'm gonna water it really well. We'll set that guy right there on top. Just fill it on in. Just kind of pack it down a little bit. And there you go. And there is our new little coleus air layer. It's so much fun, guys. I love this stuff. You got to get some type of little rooting air layer pod or something and try this out for yourself because. It's just a lot of fun. I'm gonna put this inside now in my house and we'll give it to my wife's little house plant, see how that fares. If it doesn't do as well with the low light from the windows, I may put it under our indoor grow lighting in there and just keep it through the winter. I think I wanna keep this one going. Kinda of like we did those petunias last winter. I need something to do inside when it gets cold. So I think that's it for now. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you guys wanna follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.